everyone, I'm Hilary Fox and welcome to the Noise Reduction Challenge. Today we're going to be working with a photo from the Canon 60 shot at 6400 ISO. We're going to compare different noise reduction tools and see who does it the best. So here's the raw photo we'll be working with today. And as you can see, 6400 ISO is not pretty. We lost tons of detail in the shadows and feathers here, and the background is in Technicolor. Our goal for the noise reduction challenge is to get the background clean and smooth as possible without losing detail and sharpness. So I prepared a nice crop and some mild exposure adjustments here. So this is the photo we'll be working with. Uh, let's see what Lightroom can do. So here you have it, final results. It did get rid of most of the noise in the background, although there is some strange artifacting happening here and there. There's some loss of sharpness on the bird and the feathers are a little bit thick, but overall it's uh, not bad for 6400 ISO. Let's see what DxO can do. Here we have DxO. I loaded up the raw file and we're going to use all of these tools to make adjustments and try and get as good of noise reduction as we can. Let's go. All right, we made our changes here using the noise reduction sections and some lens sharpness, and we exported our results, which you can see here. Uh, DxO did a good job, although there is some modeling here in the shadows, and while the background is pretty smooth, there's a lot of artifacting here right around the edge. So let's see what a neat image can do. So here we have neat image and I have the TIFF file loaded and ready to go. Let's run through the settings and see how good we can get it this time. Okay, so here are the results from Neat Image, and not too impressed. It's very buttery, more like a watercolor painting, a lot of thick edges and softness, and I didn't even manage to get all of the background noise removed. So let's see what Capture One can do next. So here we have Capture One loaded up with the raw file and we're going to be working with the noise reduction and sharpening sliders to see how clean we can get this image. Let's try it. So here we have capture one, the before and after, and the noise reduction is not that strong here, um, especially for a raw photo processor. The background is still pretty noisy and we have softness and over sharpening issues. Um, couldn't quite get a good balance here. So let's see what Define can do. So here we've loaded up our photo into Define 2 and it was launched as a plugin in Lightroom and we're going to give it a shot. Alright, here you can see the before and after. Um, ultimately Define was pretty disappointing. We have a lot of uh, 
watered down um, loss of detail happening in the foreground and the background while we did get rid of a lot of colored noise there's still a lot of artifacting uh, blotchiness overall um, definitely did not handle high ISO photos very well um, and there weren't a lot of options either so let's go ahead and try denoise AI All right, we now have our photo loaded into Denoise AI. Uh, this is a TIFF, although it can also handle raw files. We're going to see if we can get this photo as clear and crisp as possible. Let's give it a run. So here we have our final TIFF output from Denoise AI and I have to say this is the best we've had today. The background is actually completely smooth without any artifacting. The edges are razor sharp. We have defined textures in the feathers here and a nice little gleam around the eye. Uh, very happy with this output and uh, I would love to hear your opinion uh, or if you have any other software to recommend for noise reduction, please let me know in the comments.